What's up guys, welcome back to uh, welcome back to High Cell. Still on their blog, still no gameplay, still learning about the game from uh, from these uh, blog posts pretty much. Now, before we jump into today's topic, I really want to shout out this uh, or rather uh, recommend uh, this article to you. It's called High Cell Fan Art Showcase Volume 1. I'm not going to cover it in a video for well obvious purposes. Enjoy it. Uh, enjoy it yourself. I think I'm also gonna link it down below in the description if you need the help in uh, in uh, clicking it in finding it uh, I just went over it and uh, wow <laughs> there's some really awesome uh, art pieces in there I highly recommend you check it out yourself but anyway today's topic is actually gonna be let me find it something I didn't check before there you go NPCs more exactly get to know Hytale's NPCs uh, hopefully it's gonna cover most important ones and uh, hopefully we're gonna get a better understanding of the uh, high sales environment by seeing what kind of monsters roam this land so let's uh, let's go get to know high sales in pc i'm excited i don't remember i might have checked this article myself <laughs> but i don't remember much so let's jump right into it okay uh, right off the bat a word I can't pronounce. Ah, not that uh, great of a start, is it? Quebec? Is that it? Quebec? A society to discover. Oh, and this is some uh, first sketches. Nice, some artwork. Quebec from sketch to concept interesting so from these drawings alone they seem to be a uh, rel relatively small species not aggressive living in the forests let's gather some more info from the text let's see in Hytale and PC factions form societies with their own culture habits uh, block set and roleplay uh, in the story good to know and this is the interesting part Quebec's apparently will become uh, one of your earliest allies so they're definitely uh, friendly <laughs> well interesting oh would you look at this uh, cute little picture apparently this is an example of uh, a Quebec's home uh, screenshots below show several aspects of the Quebec block set as well as various stages of the uh, yeah, life cycle. Interesting. Wow, they actually... Wow, <laughs> they got some uh, detailed habits apparently. Like uh, taking care of their younger Quebec... Quebec? Quebec. Quebec. I gotta learn that. Quebec. Okay. Oh, yeah. They, they wear uh, clothes made out of leaves. They're definitely into, into the nature aspect of the game. Interesting. Guess uh, that guy on the left is, a, uh, is, a old, is an old Quebec. There's the youngsters, and there's the mummy Quebec, I don't know. It's interesting how the interior is decorated here. I, I can spot a spear, a carrot sitting on a shelf uh, in the background there. A really awesome lighting in here. Are those babies on the table on the right? Or just edibles? <laughs> I don't know, they got eyes and mouth. Uh, I hope they're not just simple edibles. Right. Anything else? Maybe a crafting bench of some sort on the left side? Not entirely sure. Right next to the uh, older uh, Quiblick. Hmm. Oh, wow. I totally didn't expect such detail. Check this out. This life cycle is an important part of the story of the uh, Quibex. As they age, they grow slower and slower until they stop moving completely, release a burst of energy and become much more like the trees they resemble. Wow. <laughs> I am definitely impressed. So is this gonna actually happen in the game? Are we are we gonna see or rather witness this entire process? Wow. Hopefully so. It's got a, a whole new death I didn't expect. Interesting. Let's move on. I guess I'm gonna read everything because everything seems uh, awesome and important. Check this out, for example. When an elderly Quebec adapts uh, this new form, as in the tree form, their seeds fall to the ground and form the basis of the next generation. Young Quebecs never get to meet their parents. Instead, they learn about their history from tree singers. These are elders who tend uh, to these young seedlings as they take their first steps into the world. Wow, I'm impressed so far by this species. Amazing, amazing life cycle indeed. Can't wait to see it in action. This isn't just a story that you'll read about. It's an important part of how Quebecs operate in the game. 
rather operate because that's probably how you say that right uh, well next even though I, 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 I still feel like uh, spending some more time on these uh, gathering knowledge but uh, I can't I, I mean that's probably it that's a great teaser honestly interesting species anyway Shurox is what's next multi -fa faceted foes oh these are like orcs right so you got a sentry how are they called Shurox Trorox. Okay, so you got a uh, Trorox sentry, a warrior, chieftain. Wow, a <laughs> chieftain looks uh, quite dangerous. A uh, shaman, a hunter, and uh, a wolf pet. They all look aggressive. Especially the wolf pet. Look at that. <laughs> look at that thing. It's so mad. Okay. So this is the concept art for these uh, monsters. Let's see what's up with them. Trorox make for formidable enemies and come in many shapes and sizes. Uh, Hytale's NPCs are modular and this means that we can create lots of variation of the same basic creature. In the concept art above you can see several different uh, Trorox classes. From eagle eye sentries yeah, to powerful chieftains. Okay. Oh, oh wow. We got some uh, in-game preview. Oh god, the dogs. Look at how evil they look. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the Chorox look look quite silly in comparison to the dogs, which seem to be the evilest creature in the game so far. Wow, amazing. Anyway, uh, I missed something. Each of these uh, Chorox types has a different pattern of uh, behavior, and this is reflected in the way they look and act in game. I'm just wondering about the dogs. Because <laughs> those look the the evilest from here. Anyway, when, when you're in a rush uh, to battle against a band of Trorox, you'll want to pay attention to all the different types of foe you're facing. Oh, this is quite interesting. Uh, they say, uh, we're using Trorox as an example here, but lots of Hytale's NPC factions work this way. So uh, I guess they uh, they got the multiple behavior uh, systems. Uh, there's lots of different subtypes to discover and uh, within, uh, within game, <laughs> scripting and the Hytale model maker You'll be able to create or customize your own NPC variations too. Okay, another... Um, I mean, I I'm getting a better understanding of the huge degree of uh, customization a private server may have. As in custom everything. Custom walls, custom armors, custom NPCs. And probably behavior types as well, which is amazing. Anyway, time to move on to animals. Interactive uh, inhabitants of the wild. Wow. <laughs> Wow, look at this shot. Man, this is this is amazing. It looks so great. Look at the light. Are, are those Sabertooth? I think they're called Sabertooth. They're like uh, extinct animals as far as I know. They look kinda mean too. Anyway, let's check what's up with them. Animals are one of the uh, one of the key ways that we're creating a sense of interactivity in the world of Hytale. You'll have uh, lots of opportunities to hunt, domesticate and raise animals yourself, but we're working on systems that allow animals to interact with each other in interesting ways too. Yeah, exactly. Making a uh, believable uh, ecosystem, I, uh, I guess it's called. Right, so what's happening? Oh, they're hunting! Oh god, look at those derpy... Ah, how are those called? I forgot. And... Ah, let me look it up. Oh, apparently they're just called antelopes. I, I thought I thought they had a different name. I mean, I knew uh, the uh, the word antelope, but... So there's something else. Anyway, uh, this is pretty cool. So apparently they, uh, they even hunt different species. So you got like hunters, you got like prey. Cool stuff. Oh yeah, check this out. These saber-tooth uh, tigers hunt in packs. Yeah, I knew their name. Prowling uh, th through the undergrowth uh, to get the uh, drop on prey animals. Understanding the, uh, this behavior is very important if you want to hunt them yourself. Or just stay out of their way. Interesting. Oh, that's a fat chicken. That's a chicken house. Those are little chicks. <laughs> oh god. Oh, have you spotted the fox on the left side in the bushes there? Wow, that's a nice detail. Almost, almost didn't catch it. That's so cool. Whether wild or domestic, we've tried to ensure that animals behave intuitively. Little chicks will follow a mother hen, for example, and uh, grown chickens will uh, jealously guard their eggs. Expect to get packed if you steal one. Wow, <laughs> from a chicken, really? That isn't familiar with you, what? Chickens can be familiar with you? This sounds so complex. 
If you create a safe environment for your chickens, a coop for example, they are more likely to be able to gather eggs from, uh, from them without fuss. Wow. There are lots of these uh, interactions to discover as you explore and each of them, we hope, makes the world feel um, that little bit more alive. Or so far, I mean so far, the info I've gathered uh, by these, uh, from these images rather, is already much more than I expected. Honestly, it's a whole new dimension of, a, uh, of an ecosystem. Anyway, months, oh wow, <laughs> Jesus. Now that's an ugly one. Imagine this making some loud scary noises and uh, rushing towards you. They're probably fast too by the looks. So I mean, they, they just got hands, right? So they're probably fast. And that's creepy. Uh, monsters, a uh, tough challenge awaits. Let me, let me check this picture again. This is probably a dungeon, isn't it? Look at how creepy they look. <laughs> that's definitely creepy. Okay, so what's up with these? Okay, apparently these are uh, hand-designed boss encounters. I mean, they're probably hand-designed monsters, right? Not, not, not a boss. Okay, this is definitely a boss. Uh, let me check. So yeah, uh, hand-designed boss encounters, as you would, as you would expect, honestly, uh, to be hand-designed and combat challenges. They say uh, these work slightly differently to the creatures you'll encounter elsewhere. It makes sense, they're, they're probably gonna have special attack, special algorithms to make uh, facing them tougher and challenging, right? Yeah, they say it right there. Takes, uh, defeating them takes planning. Interesting. Bus encounters are intended to add depth to the game. Whether you go solo or with a team... Oh, uh, you usually won't be uh, enough to simply show up with a strong armor and weapon that does uh, loads of damage. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to learn how each monster operates in order to overcome them. So, challenging boss fights checks <laughs> from this message alone, from this text alone. This is a fat spider or, or what? Emerald Grove, Grove, Dungeon Boss, Void Spider. Okay... So much bigger than you two. Oh, it's probably got little minions. Check, check the right, uh, right corner of this picture. Down right. <laughs> Ugly little uh, spiders. They're probably gonna jump on your... Oh, wow. We want these encounters to be a surprise. Yeah, avoid spilling to... Uh, spoiling <laughs> There's just too many of them before you get a chance to play. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> wow. Needless to say, there are worse things than giant spiders lurking in high hills deepest depths. Okay. What's up with this guy? He's probably uh, a little bit more evil than a, than a fat spider, isn't it? Wow, look at the flying. Are those birds? What do... They, they gotta be evil birds, right? This looks like hell. And uh, not sure what those... They, they look like regular birds, though. Interesting. But yeah, this guy definitely, definitely means business. Maybe a demon of some sorts. Anyway, that's not all this. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a cat. <laughs> Behold, a cat. Uh, we're gonna provide much more info on high tells NPCs in the future. For now, we'll leave you with a glimpse at some more of the uh, critters that you encounter on your journey, which is uh, this cat. Oh, wow. A pigeon. Amazing. A snake. <laughs> Observe a snake. And... Uh, Hey, this is uh, one of those uh, Quebex, right? Isn't it? Seek to emulate the relaxed enthusiasm being demonstrated by this young Quebec. 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 Oh god, I'll have a tough time with that. And there you go, guys. That is it for this NPC article. Uh, this is one exciting look at all these uh, variations of NPCs. <laughs> I'm tempted to say what I say pretty much every single time when I finish one uh, one of these articles. Can't wait to actually see them in game and check them out myself. Yes, we still have to wait, unfortunately. Oh, well, guys, this is gonna be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I am gonna see you on the next one.